guys, it's Matthew. It's 2011, and I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. It's time we kick off season two of this little show, and this, I guess, will be the first episode. We have the DWC, the Deep Water Culture Bucket, sitting in the back. Uh, let's take a look at those and see how much they've changed since the last time we took a look at them. Now, things here have grown just a little bit. Um, I've made a small change sitting in the back here. I actually found an actual manifold for uh, airline hoses. This one I picked up at the local pet shop for just around $5. And although what I had before is basically the same idea, this one is just a lot more easier to manage and I thought it'd just be a nice touch. The plants themselves, not growing too big yet. Uh, I don't know if the small little pump I'm using to deliver air to these maybe isn't enough air. Uh, I know it's a lot colder here than inside the flood table we have built there. Things are growing a bit. If we take a look at the roots here, so this one plant probably has the most root growth out of them all. And it's not too beefy or leafy, but uh, it is growing, so I guess we'll just keep on watching it to see how well it does. The other ones don't look quite as good as this one even, and the root mass isn't as developed as this guy, but uh, that's the deep water culture. And let's take a look at the stuff inside the flood table. Inside the flood table, it's a different story. Things are growing nice and big, green. They seem really happy. I have been looking at the leaves, however, and I've noticed a couple things, and I was hoping somebody out there could help me out. On the tomato plant, I've noticed that the leaves are starting to curl up, and they're a bit dry and dead on the outsides. Uh, underneath the leaves, it almost looks like there's a fungus or something growing under them. And so originally I was kind of concerned because I thought, hey, maybe that could be uh, blight, tomato blight, but I mean, that's really unlikely considering I raised this guy from seed and really shouldn't have been exposed to that fungus at all. But kind of wondering what your guys' thoughts are on this thing. Sort of an opposite problem to the tomato leaves curling over is the jalapeno leaves curling under. And I heard that this could be a sign of too much of something. And the only thing I could really think of was too much water. So I went and I actually cut uh, the water cycles for the day in half. So half as much water. And that's been going on for over a week now and the plants don't seem to mind. But still curious as to what that could be. Should the leaves be going back or will they stay curled like that? I don't know. So general rule of thumb I've heard leaves curling up, look for something under the leaf like fungus, parasites, uh, leaves curling down, probably too much of something and that's all I really know right now. I can't really pinpoint what it is for the tomato plant. I don't think it's burning out. I have my parts per million just over 800 parts per million uh, of nutrient mix so I don't think that's too hot but I could be wrong. The pepper plants seem to be doing alright, there's just a few of them that have those leaves curling under. So that's pretty much it for this one. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how things are going and let you know there will be more videos coming soon. So it sounds like I won't be going back to work for probably another month or so. There's a big gong show going on with my work visa, so I have some more time off. Plus side, I am on salary, so I am getting something. The downside is not making the big bucks for the big day rate, but I got the hydroponics to keep me busy, so stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.